What is going on today boys and welcome back to the channel. Today we actually have something quite exciting for the Civic. This is my first like sponsored part um, and I couldn't be more excited to do a review on it. As you guys know, the headlights in these old cars, they're halogen, they're junk. You turn them on at night and it hardly looks like your headlights are on. So we have a fix for that today. If you guys remember, I was on the blackout headlight housings and they looked sick until a reflector snapped off and apparently the company doesn't want to sell me just a reflector and I don't really want to buy another full set. So I'm on the hunt for a new set of headlight housings. Right now we're on the stockies but they just have the halogen bulbs and today our boys over at Oxido sent out their LED headlight conversion. So we're going to go ahead, pop these bulbs out, throw the LED ones in but before we do any of that I'm going to try and make it as dark in this shop as possible, turn off all the lights. We're going to flip the car over and we're going to turn on the headlights and just see the projections, see what they do. Chuck these in and see how they compare. Full LED headlight conversion. Before we get too much into the video, I'm going to put this down on the table. We're going to open it up and see what you get inside this package. And once again, huge shout out to Oxido. Sent your boy out some LED headlights. Let's go ahead and check it out. Let's test the OEM lights on the Civic and get to installing these. Oh, you guys are dirty though. Holy... That's better. All right guys, so here we have it, the LED headlight conversion from Oxido. On the back, you got your specifications and everything there. If you guys wanna take a peek, they're IP67, so don't worry about the water and washing your car and everything. 6,000K in temperature, so they're fairly bright blue slash white light. Anyways, let's go ahead and check these out. See what you get in the box. As you can see here, it's numbered what you got. So for our 94 hatch, you got the 9003H4HB2 bulb. Get a nice little fancy set of gloves. We're gonna go ahead and have to strap up in these. Now it's official. Just got a little product manual going over everything, but the installation is quite straightforward, so we don't need that where we're going, brother. But here is the LED headlight conversion there. Let's pop one of these guys out. As you can see, it's just your standard three-prong plug with the three-prong socket to put it in. LED on either side, stamped Oxido. There we go, we got a little cooler and everything there. So we'll see how these do, but like I said, first things first, we gotta see what the OEM headlights in the Civic do, but that is what you get in their headlight conversion. Now, before we get too far ahead of ourselves, we got about two and a half feet of room to pull the car back, which will be the best because we need the most projection onto the garage door that we can do. Let's go ahead, pop this thing in neutral and pull it back. All right, that should be plenty enough space to go ahead and test out these headlights. Let's put the battery in and see how terrible these OEM halogen bulbs are. I always just disconnect the battery when it sits at the shop. Battery doesn't need to be disconnected. If there is a small drain somewhere, it'd just kill it because we don't drive it a whole ton, but battery connected. Let's go on, flip on these headlights and see what they do. We're projecting onto a white garage door, so it should be a pretty good representation. The only light I can't block out is obviously the windows up there. It's the middle of the day, but I can shut off my LED lights and all that. So let's go ahead, quickly eliminate all the light we can. And it's a little darker in here. It's still a little bit bright, but you guys will get the gist. I'm gonna jump in there, set the camera up, and we're gonna check out the projection. I'm also gonna get some green tape, tape it on the door where the projection line is so we have a solid comparison. Test number one with the OEM halogen bulbs in the OEM headlight housing. So there we have it. Honestly, very, very poor performance. I mean, the top of the headlights is here and it doesn't even make it close to the top of the headlight housing. We're like illuminating what's below us. It could be due to the projection of it, but there's not much you can adjust with a stock housing and stock um, bulb. So I'm going to go ahead and tape here and label it OEM halogen. Then we're going to get to the install portion and test direct comparison. Okay, now we have our baseline for the OEM headlights. And just to get a better view here, that's what we're looking at. I've got the markings on both bulbs, they are even, they're super low, and obviously not that bright. Like if I stand here, these lights aren't illuminating the shop at all. Granted, you maybe have two, two and a half, three feet there, but still pretty poor performance. 
Let's go ahead and start the install process for the LED conversion, see if we gain anything. And as far as install goes, it is pretty straightforward. It's gonna be super hard to see in there. Let me just grab a light because we need the best view possible for this. So, so as you can see there, you've got your plug and then there's a little clamp that clamps the bulb into the socket. So we're gonna go ahead, pull off that plug, open the clamp, take the bulb out, take a look at the bulbs we're using versus the new LED ones, and then chuck the LED ones. And that goes for both sides. Make sure before you touch any electrical stuff, it's always best disconnect your battery. So let's go ahead and get these out and get the LEDs in. All right guys, so as you see in there, super straightforward, incredibly easy process. This is the clip I'm talking about here on the OEM housings. It's just a little push clip. You push it in, pull it up, and it swings right out, and there's your bulb right there. So these are the OEM bulbs. As we can see there, just halogen. They have that three-prong socket and then the three-prong plug. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is take our once the LEDs from Oxido and just reverse install or reverse what we just did. We're gonna go ahead, place these in the sockets, close the clamp, put the connector back on, fire the car up, and see just the difference that it makes to have an LED headlight versus an OEM halogen bulb. Hopefully it's quite noticeable. I've never run anything but the OEM on this car, just because this car doesn't go out at night, right? Like I never make videos of this thing at night. It just doesn't really go out unless it's the middle of the day. But if these headlights are good enough, I'm sure this thing will come out a lot more at night. It only feels right to glove up, boys. They give you the gloves. You got to wear the gloves. You know what I mean? It just feels right. You got to do it. Okay, let's get these LED lights installed. Check out the difference we get. All right, headlights are installed. Let's get on to testing. Time to plug the battery back in, shut all the lights off, and it's time for testing. All right, guys, I'm actually genuinely excited about this. I have never done an LED headlight conversion in a car. This one doesn't have any extra wiring involved. It's direct plug and play. So I'm really excited to see the color of the light it projects and how well it projects versus OEM. Don't forget we have the tape on the garage door labeled OEM. We're gonna make more tape if there is enough of a difference with the aftermarket and you can just see firsthand what these headlights can do. I've never ran them. I've never had LED headlights from any other company before, so I don't even know what to expect. I'm excited. Let's get the key in the ignition and see what they do. Damn, there we have it, boys, the LED headlights. They're on solid, they're both even, honestly. It looks like my one on the passenger side is angled up a little bit more than this side, but that's probably just due to projection and the way that I have the headlights installed. It'd be nice to kind of push this one back so it matches. I figured we weren't gonna get much more projection than the OEM headlights just due to the fact that it's the same projector housing. It's the same headlight housing, it's reflecting the same amount of light, but the light that is produced by this is lighting up the front of the shop a fair bit more than the old halogen bulbs did. I quite like this product. I'm gonna go ahead and keep these in the car. I think they look great. Um, let's take a look a little bit closer up though so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So just from this angle here, you can see it kind of blooms out the garage door more and there's more light dispersed and shed out a little bit farther than that of the OEM halogen bulbs. If we come up here, I kind of figured this would be the case. They're right where the OEM halogen headlights were. But like I said, that is due to the fact that the OEM projector is still in place. It's not a different projector. I haven't angled them differently. So I figured that would probably be the case. 
but I wanted to just make sure. But as far as the light being produced, there is a lot more light here and I can already tell. If you were driving down the road at night, that's gonna light up the path ahead of you a lot more than those old crusty yellow halogen bulbs. Also, you get up close, you hear that fan running? So LEDs get a little bit hot and they have their own fan in them running to keep them cool, which the OEM halogens don't get and these lights still get crazy hot. So that's just another plus of going to something like an LED headlight. You get that fan in there to cool it off and you don't have a screaming hot ball. Like even just from the short couple seconds that I had the OEM ones in there turned on, when I went to grab them to take them out, I could feel the heat already. They were already getting hot. And with these ones having a fan, they're gonna stay cool a lot more of the time. But as we can see here, the bloom, the projection, the overall light dispersion is a lot better, a lot brighter too. That's the main thing. The problem with me was the OEM halogen bulbs, it wasn't the fact that there wasn't a broad enough range or projection. It was the fact that they were warm yellow light that were quite dim. And when you were turned them on at night, you basically didn't get anything. Whether you had them turned on or turned off, you're basically seeing the same amount of things on the road ahead of you. But with these, with the bright white, you can see that they're trying to pierce through the garage door in a sense. Like these things would project quite far out ahead of you, a lot farther than the halogen bulbs. And I can just tell driving this thing at night would be a lot easier with these. And if we go around to the front of the car, we have those bright white lights now. No more yellow halogen garbage. It just looks a lot better when you turn a headlight on and you have that white light LED like new cars come equipped with from factory instead of having them lit up all yellow and gross like. That looks quite a lot better in my opinion. And to say the least, I am quite happy with how these headlights came out. All right guys, so overall thoughts of the Oxido LED light conversion. To be honest with you, I really like it. I didn't know what to expect when they wanted to send me out some LED lights. Most of the kits you see online, there's like their own wiring harness, their own like fuse or relay box that go with it. But these guys, at least for the EG hatch and probably most 90s Hondas that have that 9003 H4 or HB2 bulb socket, these are direct plug and play. The fan is all controlled with a three prong plug that already goes into the OEM lights. And I can confidently say that I will not be going back to those OEM lights. These bright white LEDs, project a lot more light. It's a lot brighter overall. It actually kind of lit up the front half of the shop, unlike the stock yellow lights. And the biggest thing for me is that I can tell the beam being projected and concentrated on the garage door was a lot brighter and deeper color than that of the OEM halogen bulb. So when I'm cruising down the road at night, I can already tell that these LEDs are gonna project farther distance out than these halogens could even think about doing. So. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. If you've ever heard of Oxido and if you haven't, go ahead and check them out now. I have a code in the description, a link to their website, and if you go ahead and buy anything, you will get a nice little discount using my link. So everyone benefits from it. Check them out. They're already very fairly priced for an LED headlight conversion kit. Like I said, I was a little skeptical myself because I've never ran LEDs in anything that didn't come equipped with LEDs. I've never done a quote unquote LED conversion, but with this being as simple as that, plug and play direct three prong socket, how can you beat it? You get a lot more concentrated light, you get a lot brighter light, it's gonna project farther down the road, you're gonna be able to see more, and uh, now you're on par with those vehicles that come out nowadays in 2024 that uh, blind the shit out of you at night because everything on those things is LED. So, like I said, let me know down in the comments, have you ever heard of Oxido? And if you haven't, are you gonna go ahead and check them out now after this video, seeing how easy it was to install and how much more light we got out of the front of the car. Honestly, my humble opinion, I quite like these. I can't speak too much to the durability factor, how long they're gonna last, because I've never used them. Um, the fans turn off and turn on when you turn on and off the headlights, so it's not like the fans are running 24 seven, putting extra strain on the electrical system. Um, I will do an updated review once I've taken the car out a few more times. I'm definitely going to go for a night drive and see how well these project and I'll make a little update on that for you guys as well. But so far, unbiased review, I quite like them. I'm happy the boys sent me out a set to test and do a review for you guys. And I really encourage you to go check them out. Just see if they got anything for your car because I guarantee they do. They make pretty much all LED conversions for pretty much any car under the sun. Um, I don't know if you guys, your car will be direct plug and play like mine or if it might come with a harness you got to wire in. But regardless, 
These guys work, they're legit, and I am leaving the LEDs in the Civic. I will not be putting back in the OEM halogen bulbs. I mean, just look how tired halogen bulbs look in 2024. Like, do you really want to be caught out here running these bulbs in your car versus a nice LED conversion that Oxido can get you right with? I mean, really? Do you really want to be caught in the middle of the night with these when you could have that? I don't think so. I'm leaving those in the car. And from me, without commenting too much on the durability factor, it's a plus for me. All right, boys, well, there you have it. Huge shout out to Oxido for being my first sponsor of the channel and sending me out a set of LED headlights for the hatch. It was a much needed upgrade. One of the things I've never touched on this car is the lighting itself. Yes, I've put blackout housings in that broken aren't in there anymore, and I did the amber signals and the aftermarket light, or the tail lights, but it's all housings. They still house the same old halogen junk bulbs. So going to LEDs is definitely a nice, nice touch. Thank you to Oxido, I appreciate it. And once again, guys, if you wanna check out their products for your Civic hatch, your Integra, your literally anything under the sun, go ahead, use the link in the description, check out Oxido. They're very fair price, and if you use your boy's code, you're gonna get 10% off. All right, boys, I'm sitting here editing the video, and I just wanna say a personal huge shout out to Oxido. The product so far seems to be amazing. Like I said in the last few clips, I can't comment on durability because they've only been in the car for 24 hours, but the bloom it projects, the concentration of light is tons more than halogen. There's one thing that got messed up on my camera. I don't know why this has been happening. It might be time for a new SD card or something. I did film high beams of both and for whatever reason the clips just don't work. So the high beam with the halogen as you can expect it gets a little wider and gets a little bit taller but still the light concentration is poor. When you flick on the high beams with the Oxido LEDs it also gets wider and a little bit taller than that of low beams but the light concentration is still so pure and white. It's so much more light being produced than that of the halogen bulbs. You can definitely tell that when you're cruising down the road at night, you're gonna be far better off with an LED headlight from Oxido than the st standard halogen bulbs. It's 2024, they're just junk. Cars from come from factory with LED headlights, so why not put LED headlights in your 90s car or even early 2000s or any car that even comes out today that doesn't have LEDs. These guys make lights for everything. I'll put up right here on screen, scrolling through the website. It's a beautiful laid out website. It's easy to understand, easy to read, plug in your car information, choose the kit that you're after. They make dome lights, tail lights, signal lights, every light for your car you can imagine for pretty well every make and model under the sun, they've got you hooked up. I've got a link in the description below and it's in the link tree, so make sure you click that link if you wanna go there to check out some products because not only is Oxido very fairly priced to begin with, if you use my link, we all benefit. You guys get 10% off and we're laughing. I love to give you guys deals on products that I get on my car and huge shout out once again to Oxido for helping me out and sending me out a set of headlights for review. I, I'm telling you guys, I was skeptical, but I was like, let's do it, fire me up, and what do you know? They're fantastic, they work, it's a lot brighter, a lot more modern looking than a halogen. There's just no reason why you shouldn't do it. With how fairly priced they are, plus you boys 10% off for you guys, I made sure I got that squared away just for you guys. I need to hook the viewers up as much as I can, but these are great. Thank you to Oxido. I hope you guys take my link, check them out, and get something for your cart. And if you do, post it on the gram, post it on TikTok, and tag me. All of my links are in the description below. And like I said, boys, if you want to see it first, make sure you go ahead and follow the Instagram channel. It is in the link tree, and it's also just Brash Garage on Instagram. Everything that happens gets seen first on Instagram via the story. So make sure you go ahead and follow there, and check out Oxido with your boys' link in the description. Thanks, Oxido, and thanks to you, boys. I hope to see you in the next video, because we got lots to talk about about this build the engine the turbo kit what we're doing what's happening it's gonna be a big video make sure you stay tuned comment like subscribe turn the notification bell off so you don't miss next video and until next time boys peace out